called common property. I don't care. Walk okay, out. well, then if you don't walk care, away. learn your laws. Walk it's away. not Africa. Oh, this is not Africa. It's not Solomon or born, wherever you were. I was born in America. In Burlington County, outrage after a man yelled racial slurs at his neighbor and made some disparaging comments. And Kelly Rule is live in Mount Laurel because the community really responded and also giving an update on where he is now. Yeah, Alex, obviously a lot of people saw that video and it is incredibly disturbing. That's what sparked the protest yesterday. People showed up to make sure this was taken seriously and that that man in that video did get arrested. And that was what happened last night. And police, Mount Laurel police, have been here ever since just to keep an eye on the neighborhood. Again, the man in that video is Edward Cagney Matthews. The video was recorded just before 8 o'clock Friday night. That night, police say Matthews was charged with harassment and bias intimidation, but he was not initially arrested. He was given a summons to appear before a judge in the future. Then last night, after at least 150 protesters spent the day in the neighborhood, again calling on this to be taken more seriously, Mount Laurel police took Matthews into custody, saying new evidence came to light from the video, which did show him spit on the victim. And the Burlington County prosecutor says Matthews did spend the night in jail. Now, as a side note, police said there will be follow up on the property damage in the neighborhood and again, those who pepper sprayed and threw bottles at officers. They do say that was only a small group. The majority of this group was very peaceful and rightfully upset. Many showing up again after simply seeing the disturbing video. It's uh, detestable. You know, it was just really disgusting. And, you know, I felt like something needed to be done um, as I was listening and watching the video. Um, you, in the comments, you were seeing other incidences that this guy was involved in. And, you know, his people are petrified of him out here. And the protesters had every right to be upset about that because this is despicable conduct. We won't tolerate it. We brought these additional charges based on additional evidence, and we will prosecute this man to the fullest of the law. And Matthews is expected to appear in front of a judge on those latest charges in a few days. We are told that includes an assault charge and additional bias intimidation charges. Mike and Alex. Wow. All right, Kelly, thanks. Uh